Okay, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Selenium web driver. So as of right now, I'm using a uh, Linux box and I'm at the uh, Selenium website. And for my IDE, I'm using uh, PyCharm. So I'm just going to create a new file. I'm just going to call it main. And first thing I'm going to do is open up my terminal and I'm going to install Selenium. So I'm using Python 3. So pip 3. Or if you're just using Python, Python 2, by all means use pip. Install Selenium. Okay, I already had the package installed. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the web driver. So to download the web driver, I'm just going to click on uh, download Selenium. For this tutorial, I'm using Python. So download. Here it gives you instructions on how to uh, download Selenium using pip. Uh, but for this tutorial, I just need to make sure I get the web driver and I'll be using Firefox. So I'm just going to go to the uh, GitHub with Firefox. Uh, if you're using Windows, by all means, download the Windows web driver. Same with Mac. In this case, I'm using Linux. So I'm just going to save this file. View the folder. I'm going to extract the content. And this is what I need right here. Um, if you're using Windows or Mac, you probably have something similar. And I'm just going to copy this over and paste it into my directory where my project's at. Okay, now I'll import all the packages I will need for this project. So from Selenium, import web driver. And I also want to import the uh, Selenium web driver's uh, common keys. This will allow me to hit like enter and tab and other keys like that. So from Selenium, import web drivers, common keys, import keys. Okay. And then I also want to import uh, the sleep timer. And this is from a Python standard library. So time import sleep. So this will allow me to pause during different commands while I'm running my, pro my program. So first thing you want to do is make a web driver object. So in this case, I'm going to just type in browser equals web driver dot Firefox. Since that is the uh, driver I downloaded. And then I want to select my executable path. So just a quick note. Whenever you install the web driver, you could just put it directly in your bin. But from my experience, I've always found it easier just to keep it with my project. Therefore, I need to change my uh, default executable path to execute executable path. And then the name of the uh, driver. Okay, I want to set my window size whenever the program opens. So browser dot set window size. And for this tutorial, I'm going to set it 900 by 900. Let me just test it out. So my window opens and it's about 900 by 900. Okay, when it opens, I also want to move it to my top left hand corner. So browser set position to zero, zero. And why I have it open, I might as well just jump over to a web page. So I'm going to pause for one second. And then I'm going to just hop over to Wikipedia. So let me just uh, look up the actual web page I want to visit. So I'm going to copy the full URL of Wikipedia and I'm going to do browser.git and then just the name of the URL. So now it opens, moves to my top left and it goes to the Wikipedia page. And as you can see, this um, URL bar is orange, just to let you know it's under control of a robot. So the next thing I want to do is do a search uh, using um, the search box here. So I'm just going to click on, right click on it, inspect element, 
So under elements, I see my uh, the ID for the search box is search input. So let me just copy this. I'm going to close out this browser. And before I do anything else, I'm going to just put it in some code to uh, sleep for five seconds after the program's completed. And then browser close. That way I don't have to close it every time. Now browser dot find element by ID. Search input. Send keys. And then I just wanted to um, do a quick search. So for this search, I'll just search for Selenium. Selenium software. And after I type that in, I wanted to pause for two seconds. Wrong with this. And after it pauses for two seconds, I just want to hit the enter key. So browser dot find element by ID search input dot send keys keys dot and I want to hit return so now I could just run this so it's opening move to top left hand corner it entered selenium software and then went to selenium okay now let's and then of course it closes after five seconds Let's say after it does all that, I want to scroll midway down the page. So let me sleep for two seconds. And then I'm going to uh, browser, execute script. So execute script, that's basically um, telling the browser to execute certain types of uh, JavaScript functions. And scrolling up and down the page is actually just using uh, JavaScript. So in this case, I'm going to send the command of windows dot scroll. I'm going to just do zero in 600. I'm going to sleep for two seconds. And then I'm going to scroll back up the screen uh, 600. Let me fix this up here and then run the script. So the browser opens, goes to the top left hand corner, Wikipedia, Selenium software, goes to the page, we see the error. Okay, I have two errors I need to fix. So it's just supposed to be window. And the T should be capital and scroll too. So I'm going to run the program one more time. So it starts up, moves to the top left, goes to Wikipedia, Selenium software. It scrolls down, it scrolls back up. And that's the end of the program. So it should be closing out here shortly. I hope this helps um, at least to get started with Selenium.